Pathology plays a really important part in screening. We test components of the blood, we look at cells, we look at DNA. Screening enables us to detect health risks early, often before diseases develop, so that we can treat or prevent the development of the disease. Well, histopathology is the study of disease in human tissue and one of the ways in which we do this is, to, is involving ourselves in the National Cervical Screening Programme. The cervical cancer occurs as a result of human papillomavirus, which establishes itself in the lining of the cells of the cervix. The cervical screening program involves having a cervical smear. It removes relatively few cells from the lining of the cervix. The role of the cytoscreeners is to assess the smear tests once they come through out of the lab. And after years of training, they're experienced enough to be able to identify normal cells. And in the case where they are abnormal, amongst thousands, literally, of normal cells, and that case is then referred on to a pathologist. The role of the histopathologist is primarily to understand the disease. That way they can advise on treatment. I didn't understand myself um, the role of the histologist until I was actually an, um, a patient myself um, and you know the, the role that they take in that with making the decision of um, the next sort of step in my um, treatment. So um, it was um, quite um, refreshing really knowing that I was in good hands. There are 40,000 cases of bowel cancer a year diagnosed and there's 17,000 deaths and the programme aims to reduce the mortality by about 15-16% through this programme through the early detection of bowel cancer. We invite people between 60 and 75 years old to do a test which involves them taking some samples of uh, their faecal material on a card and returning it to us. We then develop it and we look for very small traces of blood, which is an early sign um, of problems. It may not be cancer, and it's not a cancer test. The small number, residual number, who have a positive test go forward for a clinical assessment or are offered one. Genetics is involved in screening for bowel cancer because we know that 5 to 10 percent of bowel cancers have got an underlying genetic tendency. There are a small number of families who have a very high chance of developing bowel cancer and in some families that may be up to 70 percent and they may also be at risk of developing other sorts of tumours as well. So we need to be able to select out those families so they have the right kind of physical screening. We also use genetic testing to be able to reassure some families so they can either stop screening or they don't need to have bowel screening so frequently. We test for a genetic tendency to bowel cancer by testing both tissue samples from bowel tumour tissue and normal tissue and comparing the results. This is a new service in this region, although it has been used elsewhere in the country for some time with successful results. Microbiology is involved in screening um, patients um, for the carriage of um, bacteria, alert organisms, such as MRSA. The MRSA is um, a bacterium um, that has accumulated uh, resistance to antibiotics. The word MRSA stands for methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. People in the hospital uh, would naturally be subjected to certain breakages of skin, whether that is because of operations or they may have drips and cannula inserted. Others have lowered immune uh, defense mechanisms. So all of these um, create the perfect ground for these bacteria to invade and thrive uh, inside the body. So if we screen for these organisms, we can be ready to treat uh, patients and save lives um, in good time. These organisms live on the skin and they prefer moist areas like the nose and the groin. So we tend to swap these areas and we culture the, uh, what is on the swap, what is picked up. Uh, we have a selective uh, environment inside the lab where we would uh, detect them if they are present. We have methods that are fairly rapid in most cases, we can uh, provide the answer uh, during the same day.
haematology is involved in screening in all sorts of ways. I'm a children's haematologist and I'm interested in picking up as, in children as young as possible whether they have problems with the way they make their haemoglobin. Haemoglobin is very important because it carries oxygen and energy around your body. There are defects which we inherit and that changes how the haemoglobin behaves and that changes how our red cells behave. Those cells become rigid and block the little blood vessels that normal red cells can normally squeeze through. These cells can't. That causes pain, but it can also cause damage to the tissue that's now not getting its normal blood supply. Screening is done actually in the first few days of a baby's life. While most people will be familiar with the heel prick blood test that all newborn babies in the country have. What they might not know is that for the past three years now, that heel prick test has included a test for abnormal haemoglobins, so that we get this result within a few weeks of the baby being born. These children are very prone to infections and we want to be able to put them on preventative antibiotic as soon as we can. The clinical chemistry department analyzes bodily fluids, in particular plasma, which is the fluid that the red and white blood cells float in. One of the uh, things that we screen for is cholesterol. Cholesterol is a type of fat which we need to keep us healthy, but if the levels are too high, then they can cause disease. And cholesterol can be deposited in blood vessels in particular the blood vessels that supply the heart and if this happens it may lead to a heart attack. It's particularly important to screen cholesterol levels in patients who already have symptoms of heart disease but even in patients who are fit if we measure the cholesterol levels we can uh, lower those levels early before they lead to disease. Here in Nottingham we carry out a quarter of a million cholesterol tests every year so in order to analyse such a large number of samples accurately and quickly, we have to rely very heavily on automated instruments and liquid robotics so that we can get out the results very quickly. And we transmit the results electronically so that the doctor can get the results as quickly as possible. Immunology deals with defects in the immune system and it's currently developing a test which could be used as part of newborn screening for severe combined immune deficiency in the near future. SCID is caused by severe defects in the immune system. It results in severe infections in the first year of life. Whilst SCID is a curable disease with early diagnosis and treatment, um, with late diagnosis the risk of death increases. Often the diagnosis of SCID is delayed because of lack of um, any clinical signs or family history and this can be prevented by screening at birth. This test is done on uh, dried blood spots which are already collected uh, from all the newborn babies in the UK as part of national screening for other genetic disorders. This test is currently available in the UK but is only being used to test um, babies who are suspected to have SCID but with more experience and with more evidence it may become part of newborn screening um, in the near future.